Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. The bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. <laughs> Illusion, confusion. The Ace of Wands is behind it with the Death card. So this is coming to an end. Um, today is actually Monday, November 6th. And uh, so time just changed. <laughs> yes, I'm be feeling there's just a lot of shifts happening. Um, time, weather, energetically, astrolog astrologically. So I was just talking about this too, like Saturn has just, Station direct in Pisces. I, I mentioned this in the reading, I think, yesterday. Confusion, illusions. When you think of Pisces, you kind of think of like even Neptune like energy, very dreamy, ethereal like <laughs> energy. It, it's confusion, but this is saying here with this Ace of Wands, which you can see, even like this big, huge, like third eye. You're about to see something clearly. And I feel like it has something to do with something in the subconscious mind. The death card here. You're going to understand something about an ending. Or you're going to understand why something is confusing and choose to end it. The page of wands is here. It's like something passionate, brand new. Going after something, bringing stability, security. It's like the eight of wands is here. The queen of wands. Yeah, I feel like it's safe to move toward something or someone. The Knight of Cups. Wow. Hmm. It's like your path is being clear. Look at that. Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands. You may still be... Nine of Wands. You may still be holding on to some kind of disappointment or regret, though, from a situation. So this may have you a little bit afraid to take a step. But it's like happiness is here. It's knocking on your front door. But there's some kind of paranoia, fear of disappointment. Yeah, you're being advised to walk away from something and move forward or to leave some type of emotional pattern or attachment, something that was an illusion or confusing. You're being asked to leave this behind because it doesn't serve you so that you can move forward. So there is a major shift or awakening taking place with the judgment card. Yeah, it's like releasing what doesn't serve you, the three of swords. It's like, it, this feels very much in the subconscious mind. Like there's a fear, maybe a fear of history repeating itself or something. There's movement here, but you have to be the one to walk away from what doesn't serve you to move in a new direction. And it doesn't always have to be a person or a place. It could be a mindset like fear. That's all this is. Five of Swords. Somebody is very conflicted about how to move forward. But I feel like it's blocking a union, reunion, or a time to celebrate. Ooh, I just said it. <laughs> the Emperor is blocking this. Page of Cups. Somebody is blocking an opportunity. Out of fear and paranoia. It feels too like somebody is waiting on you to move forward, take a risk, leave something behind. I'm feeling like there's a loss of patience here. Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, I see here. The Two of Pentacles. So there's juggling. One day you're up, one day you're down. Stress, fear, anxiety. What do you want? What do you really want? I feel like it's here. It's here for the taking. Seven of Cups. Confusion. It's the baggage. Something from the past that you need to free yourself from and completely surrender to welcome this new abundance. This is a mindset. You may need to go within, retreat, heal, 
rest. There's something you're carrying and it's confusing you. Person, place, thing, situation has you confused or just afraid. Like I said, there's this disappointment here about something, but it's like all is not lost in this situation. If you just surrender and allow this new beginning, it's going to go towards the Ten of Pentacles. Very, very favorable outcome. But the Eight of Cups is here. Two of Wands. Yep, you, ha you have to make a decision. This is you. You you have to do this. You have to be the one to say who, what, when, where, why, how, stop, go. You have to make the decision. Because this decision has to do with It's a test in you trusting yourself. Yeah. For you, it's like for you to fully embrace this new beginning, it's like God is wondering have you really learned something here about discernment? So the way you test your discernment is by your decision making. Something here is is really not that confusing. It's something that you know, but you're refusing to make a move because you're afraid. Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Ace of Swords. Some of you, it's love. It's, it's right there. You're working on peace, balance, harmony. You're receiving the clarity, the truth, the downloads. Somebody is communicating with you openly, honestly, freely, and yet you're still like, mm -mm, this is deceptive. And Spirit is saying, no, it's not. It's your wish fulfillment. It's your happily ever after. This is you just sitting there looking at it. Nope. No, it's not. And it's constantly being thrown at you. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Something or someone has a real hold on you. Mm. Because here's the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This could be one person, but for most of you, there's a deceptive energy still lingering. Seven of Swords. It makes it very difficult for you to see happiness. There's the deception, the trickery, or whatever. Or, or some because somebody is being very straightforward. You don't see it as love. It's just a, a lot of confusion. But it's really not. It's This is like an oxymoron, but it's clear confusion. The confusion here is clear. It's, it's a battle of the mind. Up and down, up and down, back and forth. It's, he loves me, he loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Stop, go, stop, go, push, pull, push, pull. Like, you you got to get off of this. Because it's just this dick, discontentment, this apathy, this. But it's here. The true, the truth. True, many true love is here. It, it can grow. It's. The offer you've been hoping, wishing, praying for. Opportunity to celebrate, to build strong foundation for some marriage justice. This is your, it's like your karmic justice, but you have to make the decision.
to stop looking at love and emotional contentment and fulfillment as something that you don't want. Maybe it's because it's like you're afraid you'll be left out. If you get it, oh my gosh, what if it hurts me? And here's a choice. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Something makes you excited. Something does not. But it's like a difficulty in seeing what's good. But you have to make a choice. And I feel like this King of Swords, it, I mean, there's three kings here. But it's like something here is obviously bad. And it's saying here, be warned, don't move forward. And then there's something here that you're... You're seeing it as, as bad, but it's actually good. This also, too, is like, yeah, you're not seeing the plans. Somebody has good intentions. You can't see it. Because of what you know from what you've seen previously. But literally, it's right here. And I've, I've been saying this a lot. Like th That's how an illusion is, though. It's right there looking at you in your face. And you're like, nope. <laughs> Somebody is, is refusing to see that like, there's a blessing here. But you, you have to take control of this. Get control of your own mind because you keep hesitating. Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Eight of Swords. This Eight of Wands is actually in the reverse. And here's the Seven of Wands. You have to put a block up to this conflict to manifest wish fulfillment and to move forward. It just feels like there's a serious battle of the mind with these illusions. Somebody is seeing something, you're feeling it, but it's a new feeling. So you don't understand it or you don't want to accept it. For many, yeah, it's moving away from this illusion for the partnership, love. It's new though. It's brand new. Feels like somebody is afraid of love to me. And it's just looking right at you. You don't have to go looking for this blessing. It came to you. Or it's coming. And it feels like when it comes knocking at the door, you're, you're afraid to open it. This is so straightforward. Like, <laughs> this, it's like the confusion is so clear. The Hierophant. This is your higher self. And some of you, your higher self is making you uncomfortable. It's almost like the ease of it. You feel like, you know, I, this needs to be more complicated. This needs to be harder. Look at that. I don't feel like this is something that you have to read too much into. You already have the confirmation that it's time for you to go towards something new. To call judgment on the devil. To forgive, to let go. To not to have the strength not to share anything with certain people or people who have a certain energy. And to make a decision to move in a different Like, you already have the confirmation of who has to go, what has to go. You, it's like you know. Or this is what's coming in. It's just this heightened awareness. 
But all I keep hearing is just, you know, you know. But it, it's it's one thing to know and it's something else to act on it. You have to act. This is something you have to act on. But somebody is afraid. Somebody is afraid of, of getting, I guess, played. Like, afraid that somebody is going to play. It, it's a huge fear of being controlled. Somebody is afraid too of micromanagement in the workplace. So this is somebody who may be saying like, they don't want to go to a certain job because they're like, I can't be micromanaged. Or I don't want to be in a relationship because I can't be, I can't be micromanaged. I don't want to share with another person. This energy has been coming out a lot. It's the fear of really, it's like the fear of being committed to this higher path. You asked for it and now it's here and now it's like, oh, wow, this, this is, this is new. And it's not even that it's, it's hard. It's in alignment. It's just, it requires changes. It's so peaceful. It's so peaceful. <laughs> As I say, it's so peaceful. What comes out? Balance. <laughs> Temperance. Three of Cups. Self control, moderation. It's temperance energy. Three of Cups. Good news comes from patience, compromise, having gratitude, the chariot moving forward and away from the Ten of Wands, the burdens to have wish fulfillment, happiness. And this is having gratitude and the understanding that the past caused you to go through a transformation that was necessary. Now you have the Eight of Pentacles. Now it's time to work on something new, which is moving forward. Could be some type of travel. Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is working hard. They're going through a transformation that's leading to very, very quick, fast-moving energy. And there's been maybe some some conflict around a new beginning, but it's like having the faith of, of a mustard seed. Page of Pentacles, like learning something new, investing in it. Five of Wands, there's conflict, chaos, confusion, illusions, jealousy, envy. But still, the Four of Wands is here with the Renewal card, Judgment, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. It's a completion. So it's like moving out of difficulty into happily ever after. I mean, a hundred percent. This comes from learning too about self-love and people are angry that you love yourself this much because th there's proof that you're relaxed and you're happy. Or there's going to be very soon, it's going to be very clear that like your life is really, really peaceful and there's prosperity and abundance and you're happy. There are energies in the background that's wondering, did their plan to scare you, to trick you, to get you out of your, your element, your energy, did it work? No. People now are frightened and they're upset that it didn't work. But what you really should understand is um, the importance of letting go and just enjoying this peace and prosperity that is here. Because something has been eclipsed out and removed from your energy. And I feel like it's just a mindset of lack or of fear. 
that you you can't make it or you can't have it the hermit yeah the restrictions you're you're taking action now according to your higher self and connecting with god or the right you know guidance to manifest it just seems like there's something here big that's like somebody needs to manifest and your higher self is telling you that you actually have the tools and the resources to do it, but you need to come out of hiding or you need to use the things that you learn and apply it and stop feeling like you're restricted because the restrictions are mental. It's a restriction in the mind. It's a fear of taking action. Somebody here needs to just go for something it's like you've been on a wheel because of things that other people have done but now you're you're staying on a wheel because you're not making a decision the magician is like you have the tools and the resources but you're not making the decision to you to utilize them and it's because of this fear of making the wrong the wrong decision and i feel like people know you have this this fear of making the wrong decision so you have people around you who are manipulating you or possibly even doing magic to really really have you at rock bottom to betray you and make you feel that you don't actually have this four of wands ten of pentacles here People don't want you to see that with the like you've already gone through judgment. And and the outcome for you is supposed to be very positive. Something in the background is leading you to believe that you're still restricted when you're not. You're whatever had you restricted before, it's it's not there anymore. You're, it's just like you're so used to feeling restricted that you're having a difficult time with realizing that you're not. It's like somebody who's been in jail who has um, become, what's the term they use? Like institutionalized. Like a person like gets out of jail and they're still worrying about lights, lights on, lights out. Thinking that they, they can't go out. So it's like there's a karmic cycle that has ended and perhaps you haven't fully accepted it. And I, this has been coming out like every day. So if it's not you, it's somebody else in your energy that does not realize that <laughs> the gate is open. So that's how I know it's, it's, a, it's a thing of the mind because the physical restrictions and limitations aren't there. It's the mind. But I, there's, there's nothing but goodness here. There's nothing but blessings here. King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, that's the Knight of Pentacles. But here is the Ace of Pentacles. And the King of Cups with the wheel. It's like somebody, look, Two of Cups. Queen of Cups. And you can see it poking your ace of cups. This is this is all about love. Like real true love. It just feels like somebody is afraid of it. It's the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. The king and queen of cups. That's a pair. The two of cups, a pair. But the Knight of Pentacles, you have to be loyal, dedicated, and committed to whatever this will of fortune is. So there has to be a plan. And, and there has to be two people who agree to start new. 
and to let go of restrictions and the delays. There's a very, this is a very, very, very positive shift or change here. But look, the Two of Pentacles, it's like juggling. And then there's the Ace of Swords, another Ace. Somebody has to come up with an idea. Somebody is doing too much. They're juggling too much. It's time to say, okay, listen. Do this differently. For somebody here, you may be deciding to downsize. For some, you may be deciding to... Um, There's something, something here needs to be unified. Two of swords, yeah. Somebody is stuck, afraid that they're going to make an unwise choice. Two of swords, five of swords, the king of swords, four of pentacles. You have to release this in order to have just, so it's just a releasing of fear. King of wands, the star, and the dreamer, the fool. Release the fear and then boom, all of a sudden, like the whole world opens up to you as a leader, as a star, somebody who is motivational, inspiring, ambitious, leadership opportunities will come. But this conflict and this confusion is not allowing somebody to walk away to actually embrace the Ten of Cups. It's just, it's the same thing over and over. It's the fear. That's it. And, and it's hard, but it's really just as simple as just doing it. Just do, whatever it is, it, just do it. So somebody is afraid to travel. They're afraid to move. They're afraid to start a job. They're afraid to start a relationship. Because it's all about what if this turns out like the last situation. So somebody is still being like ruled and controlled by their past. Surrender to success. Well, I, there it is. So it's like not starting the business or not joining a group or not going to a job. It's like somebody is literally afraid of being successful. Like wanting success, but still caught up on previous roadblocks in their life, not realizing that like God has come in and cleared the path. But somebody's like, but what, but what if, what if, what if there's a, a roadblock ahead? It's like, don't worry about it. Just, just get on the chariot and go walk away, step over whatever roadblock, walk away from and just get on the chariot and go. But then when somebody gets on the chariot, they start to get conflicted. Well, well, what, what if, what if this happens? What if that happens? It's like analysis paralysis. Somebody is overanalyzing a situation. Just do it. <laughs> obsessive thinking. This obsessive thinking is, is blocking somebody's success. What if they lie? What if they cheat? What if I lose? What if I don't have enough? What if I have too much? What if it? What if the product doesn't sell? What if? What if I I run out of products? Like, to the point that now it's like somebody either is not understanding that they need to say no, or somebody is saying no too much. It's just, it's confusion. Wow. Surrender to your soul's path. Surrender resentment and the need to always be right. Surrender to silence. It's not much more to say. It's like when people say, um... What's understood doesn't have to be explained. <laughs> I 
I used to really hate that, but that's what this is. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. Once you understand your soul's path and journey, you, you don't have to explain it. And you have to let go of the resentment of the time that you tried to explain it to people and they they didn't want to hear it or they didn't take you seriously. And then you try to prove like you don't have to prove anything. This feels like this is a situation between two people who both are going to have to surrender to the success of their soul path. But there's a need to let go of the defensiveness and the ego and the pride and the need to always be right. The nitpicking, the, the tit for tat, the resentments. Well, I did this or I know that like Spirit saying just, just be quiet and go. Do the work. Surrender comparisons. No need to compare your journey or your success to anybody else is just focus on what's in front of you. Don't worry about the past. Don't have anxiety or fear about the future. Just what's happening right now. Because what's happening right now has the potential to bring you all of the happiness that you want. Victory and success. Yep. And three of wands. Your ships are coming in with whatever this is. Something is, is going to be a part of long-term success. Three of Wands is my vision board card. It's you, you, you plan for it now, and it's going to come into fruition 100% with Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You're going to receive recognition, success, awards, promotions. For some, fame. A lot of you people are going to know you because of your happy family. Like your loving relationships, your friendships, your family. Like people are going to know you because of that. But you got to think if, if your family or your friends is what's going to bring you success. <laughs> if you're not doing anything to build that right now. It's like somebody's sole part of your purpose is to be very successful with something that you do with friends and family or your marriage or children. But if you don't have the relationship, the marriage, the children, the job, it's there's Everything has to come together. It can't be one or the other. I feel like that's what this it is. Somebody keeps juggling like they want one or the other. And it's not like that. Like everything has to go together. Or even if it's two people, it's like both people are trying to focus on something separate. And it's like, no, it, somebody here is being forced to give something their, their like 100%. That's what this is, seriously. Like, both people have to bring everything to the table. The good, bad, the evil, uh, both people have to heal. Both people have to help. Both people have to contribute. Both people have to trust. Both people have to really see the vision. Somebody here is still confused. This is it's, it's not chaos, but it, it's like a lot of peace here is just the action. Where is the action? And it's interesting because you could tell it's like somebody knows. Somebody already somebody knows. That there is. An opportunity. But either they're not acting on it 
or they're dealing with somebody that's refusing to embrace whatever this is. It's like the final test. It's like one little thing is missing. And if you could just learn that one lesson or do this one thing, it's like you're, you're home free from there. Stepping into power, crossing bridges. It says it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. You are strong beyond measure. You just have to start something right now to expand your horizons. Because there's a divine path here. And whatever this is, whatever this new contract is, that's a part of your soul's purpose, your journey. Whoever I'm talking to, you can't get out of it. So it's like either you're going to do this the hard way or the smart way because you're not getting out of it. This is, it has already been written. Like you have to, this happily ever after you, you have to live it. You have to show it. It's yours. You, you don't get out of it. You can delay it, but you can't get out of it. I think people really focus a lot on not being able to get out of situations that don't serve them. But this is a situation where you have a, a situation that is perfect for you that you can't get out of. And most people are so accustomed to being afraid of repeating a cycle that doesn't serve them that they then become afraid to start a cycle that does serve them. So it's like somebody is, is almost afraid to step fully into their power because to step into your power means that you have to cross this bridge. And that's the scary part. Once you cross this bridge, you can't go back across it. So there's something in your life you have to put a complete and total end to. And you know, you know, or your subconscious mind knows that there is no going back. But this is what's necessary for you to reach your destination. And once you reach your destination, that's where you find your sanctuary. You find your peace in this new place, this new business, this new partnership. That's where everything is. It's all waiting there, but you have to cross the bridge to get there. So there's like a, one decision that you have to make. And it's a big decision. And you have to believe in magic. Something here, it, it take it is a huge risk. But this is a test of faith. Do you know that there's truly support all around you? You're very supported. It says view from above, journey by moonlight. So on your journey, this wandering path. The journey that you, like God has been watching you the entire time. Your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, they're providing a light for you. It's sort of like what I'm saying right now. It's like if you were to go out and it was pitch black. Your entire spiritual team, they will light up the sky with the stars for you to follow. You're not like you're not walking alone. It's something here that somebody feels like if I do this, I'm going to be completely alone. What, what, what if what if it's a blackout? The stars will come out and guide you. Your ancestors, your God, God is going to guide you like you're really not alone. And I feel like that's what it is. The big fear here is being alone because somebody's like, I've already had to travel so far alone i've already had to endure so much somebody is so caught up on what they lost that they're not even focused really on what they can gain and i feel like it's actually two people who both feel this way but they're supposed to come together and prove to one another you're not alone so it's like god literally is giving somebody a helpmate but they both have to see that This is like a really, really powerful breakthrough. Whatever this is, it's really big. I can feel it. It's something huge. 
And all it requires is one decision. That's it. And the really is the one decision to trust yourself. If you trust yourself in this decision, and for some you choose to trust somebody else, that's what God is, is waiting on you to, to trust. To trust him, but trust yourself. Trust the God that is within you. Because God is, is saying, like, I'm communicating with you, but you're still not trusting it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. God, like, I gave you the answer. It's been within you, but you still won't trust it. So I guess anybody listening to this, you can think, what have you been doing for a while? This kind of going around and around, and around that you're not, you know, it's there. But you won't act on it. It's that one thing that you won't act on. That's like your your breakthrough to everything. That one thing. That one thing that you're refusing to do. Holds the key to everything. That you need to do. It's big stuff. Big, big stuff today. <laughs> okay. It says, boom. Heaven is rushing in and showering you with blessings. Open your heart to receive energy protection your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance this is about trust and faith you keep telling yourself that you're not safe in a particular place or with a person and therefore you're you're creating you're you, that's feeding into this negativity and this illusion there's an it's like there's an illusion that has been placed over you that you're not safe and you shouldn't trust anything. But God is within you telling you, I'm here with you. So why wouldn't you trust? I'm not going to leave you or, for, or forsaking you. So why won't you trust? So the, as long as you wake up and it's just like we talk about spiritual, as long as you wake up every day. Oh, my gosh, somebody is after me. They're after me. You can't feed into this, this type of paranoia and fear. Your mind, the subconscious mind that's telling you you're not safe is creating situations in your life that th there are situations that are unsafe, but at this point, living in so much fear, the situations that are safe, you may be pushing them away. Some of you, this is a person. You're pushing a good, good person away because you're so accustomed to being up in arms, feeling like it's not safe. But the divine plan is for you to go onward and upward towards this dream come true. It's supposed to happen in divine timing, but it's a divine blessing this in disguise because there's a spiritual test here of faith and trust and it's time to let your inner child out to play you're assuming that something is not for you that you actually hope wished and prayed for wishing on a star on a star night what you want is you manifested something magical. It showed up and then you was like, uh-uh. <laughs> so some you're rejecting a blessing here. It says focus on inspiration and the action steps will follow. You need to actually be giving thanks for whoever or whatever this is. For some of you, financial freedom and independence is coming. But... 
you have to be willing to make changes. No matter how hard you think this situation is, you still have to just go for it. And this goes back to understanding that you're worthy of this. Loving yourself. Receiving this blessing. But around this blessing is the wrong people and the wrong mindset confusing you. Something here is confusing you in the mind. And it's really just the plan and the trick of the enemy to convince you honestly to deceive yourself and sabotage yourself. Because for whatever this is, it's the ultimate wish fulfillment. It's everything that you hope you wished and you pray for. And then when it showed up, you was like, no, mm -mm. I don't need to do that. I can't trust that. I don't need to try that. My mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, they told me to avoid that. But it's like the real deal is here. What is what is this? You guys can let me know in the comments what it is for you. I mean, it could be a job. It could be starting a business. Look at their children and happiness. Maybe for some of you, you're telling yourself that you're not ready for children. It's, it's like just not fully accepting happiness or just something that makes you feel childlike. Between worlds. You're in between worlds, but there's a rare gift here that you have and you're receiving a very rare gift. There's something very special that's being given to you. For some of you, it's a very special child that's gonna be gifted to you. You're still telling yourself that you're not ready for it. Or it's a business where you will be working with children or helping people with family, helping your family, whatever it is, you're still telling yourself you're not ready for it, but you have the rare gift. You have the gift that brings about luck and success and wealth. But maybe you're constantly second guessing yourself. Deep thinking is here. Maybe you're being too logical. Or maybe you need to take some time out to think about something. Or you're, you're thinking so much about something, it's keeping you confused. This could be a man that's very confused about a particular woman that they're dating. Not understanding that serendipity here. This situation, it happened for a reason because it's, it has the potential to take somebody, <laughs> look, magnetic, to the next level. It's business here for... I said it's, it's potential for a great business. Like somebody's investments are paying off. Serendipity is all about perfect timing. Like divine timing is definitely at work here. But something is a very rare, rare opportunity. It's a rare find. It's a rare gift. Playfulness. It's time to have more fun. It's like honestly too, by having more fun, Lightening up is going to bring in more money. I kid you not. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. I just picked this deck up and at the bottom, I have twin flame connection. And then look at here at the bottom. It's union coming together, but we're split. It says twin flame. So this, this is a twin flame union coming together. Twin flame, commitment, family, union coming together, proposal, mirroring. You cannot make this up. It's two people here who are constantly breaking up to make up or separate it. You need to go with and because you and somebody have a soul purpose together. It's time to stop this make up, break up, separation stuff. There's an offer of loyalty here. 
to be committed to a union or a family that's here, but somebody keeps running from it. It's like you can run, but you can't hide. Like you, somebody doesn't realize like this. This is this is it. <laughs> you can't get out. Of, this is it, y'all. Life partner within a few months. I'm so done. It's safe for you to love. I can't like I can't make this up. Trust in divine timing. New experiences. Trust the signs. Your spirit guides are supporting you. Friendship, heavy thinking within a few weeks. Runner. Somebody is focused on money, but they're trying to look at things differently. Or they will once they go through the dark night of the soul of the soul because somebody's going through an awakening. I know that this this is about for some love. It's you're at the end of the the, the road. For some, you and your counterpart, you you cannot run from each other anymore. You you, it's like separation for you. It's not even an option anymore. Wow. It's a it's a union being forced. Because of divine intervention and divine timing. You you cannot run from this. Literally, it's like God has decided, I have something that I need you to do. You're going to have to do it with this other person, whether you like it or not. Because it's, it's not about you anymore. It's like God is saying, you're going to do this with this person, for this person, whether you like it or not. Because there's something bigger here. There's a rare opportunity or gift that's going to come from this. Yeah, and I'm telling you right now, like, God is not playing about this. I can, the energy in this reading is very peaceful, but it's very straightforward, very matter of fact. It's not heavy. It's just a very direct type of energy. It's like, yeah, I know that you guys, you thought you were confused, but you're not confused. God's like, and I told you, it's time for you to come home. It's time for you to come home. That's this. I cannot make this up. <laughs> no place like home and poise. This is like the synchronicities are so wild. <laughs> it's time for you to come home. Look, seriously, clean, you need to clean something up here. This chaos and this conflict, this drama, these blockages in the subconscious mind, you need to clean it up because you've been blessed with a very loyal heart. And something here needs to be done by the book or you need to be flexible and stop thinking that everything is going to be done by the book because it's time now for you to co-create with somebody and it's fated for you to be very happy. For some of you, there's a spirit baby out here. It's something about this situation or this kind is not happening how you saw it, how you thought, how you visioned it, envisioned it, how you dreamed it or imagined. It's going to be different. So it's like a gift. You're so caught up on the wrapping that you don't see the gift. It's like you're going to be very happy to co-create with somebody. It's faded. For you to co-create with somebody but somebody here is flexible and then the other person wants to do everything by the book and it's like god is saying you need to clean that you need to fix it you need to clean this up because you're causing a lot of chaos and conflict <laughs> when you should be loyal to one another and bring about these blessings It's a proposal of a commitment, marriage, relationship, whatever. So you have to come together and both people have to agree to being committed to family. It's like you both have to be committed to building 
the kingdom doing your part. Wow. This was really powerful. So you're in a balancing act where you have to get completely aligned with your wholeness. And nurture your emotional wounds because you have a new soul contract here. Like the presence here is so very, um, I want to say angelic. It's like two earth angels, like both being put to the test. Like <laughs> leave everything behind because it's like God is telling you it's time for you to, to, for you both to come home. I have work for you. 